Hello and welcome to the Business Standard Banking Show. After incurring loss for 13 consecutive quarters, IDBI Bank returned to profitability in the fourth quarter of 2019-20. Since then, there was no turning back. Along with profitability, the bank has improved the asset quality and now the provision, ratio, provision coverage ratio stands at more than 90%. To speak to the person behind the turnaround, we today have Rakesh Sharma, MD and CEO, IDBI Bank. Mr. Sharma, welcome to the show. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thanks for the introduction. Uh, IDBI Bank is now firmly on a profit path. What is the near-term growth strategy for the bank, say, in the next three years? Now, the growth strategy, if we discuss, first, in terms of business, of course, as you know, earlier the bank was under PCA and there were a lot of many instructions, uh, restrictions were there. But now we have planned 10 to 12% growth. Uh, both in retail, MSME, and uh, large credit also. But our focus will be in mainly in mid-corporate, where uh, you know the mm, good quality of advances will be available. But uh, we are now uh, growing in all the fields because, as you know, the our uh, retail to credit uh, that corporate credit uh, percentage is 63 to 37 percent. So more or less, we will like to maintain that. As far as profitability is concerned you will uh, see uh, upward uh, uh, uprise in the profit by operating profit also and net profit also because uh, most of our NPS have already been provided for. And as you have rightly said that our provision coverage ratio is 97%. Slippages are also under control. So in all respects, we are expecting good growth uh, in the coming area, years. While the, the profitability has improved and asset quality has improved, the stock of uh, gross NPA is still high, which is around 20%. Uh, what is the plan and strategy to reduce that stock? So once upon a time, about three years back, the gross NPA was 31%. So by accel making accelerated provisions and by making recoveries, we have been able to bring down the gross NPS below 20% and net NPA is uh, standing at around 1.25%. Gross NPA, as you see, you know, the major part of our uh, NPS are already 100% provided. If we do write-off, uh, technical write-off for those 100% uh, provided accounts, my gross NPA can be uh, less than 2%, but because of some tax implications, we are not doing that. But of course, I agree that we have to reduce our gross NPS. So the major strategies will be, one of course uh, is uh, recoveries through NCLT, negotiated settlement route and OTS route also. And um, partly of course, we are also thinking of transferring some of the assets to NARCL, which uh, of course we were expecting somewhere in June quarter, but uh, slightly it was delayed. But in the, uh, I think Q3 and Q4, we will be able to transfer uh, some accounts to NARCL. We have identified accounts worth 11,000 crore. So out of that, um, around 4,000 is already technically written off. So remaining 7,000 crore uh, will be transferred to NARCL. So this will help us in reducing the gross NPAs below 15%. And that is by target to reduce the gross NPA below 15% by 31st March 23. Sir, uh, IDBI Bank in recent past has shown very aggressive strategy on recovery. Uh, recovery figures are also very healthy. Can you throw some light? What is the recovery strategy going ahead? Yes, uh, one thing I would like to clarify that you know during this COVID period, uh, the uh, some recoveries through NCLT had slowed down, but we continued making our recoveries in uh, 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 by way of negotiated settlements and uh, uh, one-time settlements, and also the small accounts by uh, uh, launching some uh, non-discretionary schemes. Uh, for uh, one-time settlement. So uh, this year we have targeted recovery of around 4,000 crore and Q1, my recovery was 1,100. So we have already achieved 25% of that target. So I'm quite hopeful that uh, this year we will be uh, able to recover uh, more than 4,000 crore. Sir, coming to slippages now, your slippages in the first quarter was about 964 crore, lower than the Q1 of uh, same period last year, which was around 1,300 crore. Uh, do you expect slippages to further come down in the coming quarters? Yeah, I fully agree. In fact, in Q1, uh, there were some two uh, corporate accounts had also slipped. In fact, the breakdown, uh, breakup of this 964 crore was corporate 443 crore and retail 521 crores. So in this retail, in fact, um, uh, uh, retail uh, slippages have also come down 
proportionately as compared to previous year and in the coming quarters because our recovery percentage is sky, uh, quite good and the collection ratio is um, uh, more than 96.5% uh, and we have been able to stabilize both our collection and recovery vertical very efficiently so um, i expect that uh, even as compared to 964 crore during the remaining three quarters it should further come down in any case my slippage ratio for the this current financial year, I have kept it at 2.5 percent, but I am sure that it will be much below 2.5 percent. And sir, your guidance on credit cost. What is your guidance on credit cost? It was 0.52 percent in the Q1 of a 23. Yeah. yeah. In fact, if you see the regular credit cost, if we do not do the accelerated provisioning, then certainly it will be in this range only 0.52.75. But I am targeting the credit cost uh, below 1%. Earlier, we had estimated it to, to be 1.25%. But now, since we have been able to um, control the slippages, and in any case, uh, they, there are no major uh, um, aging provisions. So this uh, credit cost, in any case, maximum, it will be 1%. But I am expecting somewhere between 0.75 to 1%. Now coming to upgradation, sir. Upgradation in the first quarter was lower than any of the quarters of the last financial year. Uh, what could be the reason for that? Is there a matter of concern that going ahead, the pace of upgradation could slow down? Yes, I agree that in Q1, uh, so the, the, there was no big account was not upgraded. But um, in the coming quarters, uh, we are expecting one or two, uh, not in Q2, but I think by third quarter or fourth quarter, one big account we are likely to upgrade. But overall, what I am estimating is that the overall upgradation plus recovery will be much, much better than the slippage is part, is, is this. So either by way of recovery, we will be able to recover our NPH or by just upgradation. But some accounts, of course, we are uh, like, especially those which were restructured uh, hmm. earlier. So these we are uh, expecting to, uh, that there will be upgradations in the coming quarters. Uh, coming to the business side, sir, the deposits, first of all, is the deposits. Now, we have seen your total deposit has fallen in the first quarter on a sequential basis. There was a fall in the savings account, the current account, the retail deposits, as well as one, de as well as the bulk deposits in the June quarter as compared to the March. Now, credit growth has started picking up and most of the banks are lag deposit growths are lagging credit growth. How do you ensure that even ma match uh, you will ensure deposit growth to match the credit growth. You see, uh, traditionally in banking uh, circles, the Q1 normally there is a decline in growth because what happens is that most of these government deposits, these are released as on 31st March. March. So sometimes uh, willingly or unwillingly, there is some inflated deposits are there. And uh, generally, most of the banks have shown decline in deposits in Q1. But despite that, our, uh, you know, the CASA percentage was 55.65%. Uh, this thing. And YOY also there was a growth. So uh, what I feel is this was, on, of course, one of because uh, generally in Q1, there is a decline. But in the coming quarters, uh, of course, now there is, in, uh, uh, you know, uh, because of increasing interest rate scenario, also we have also increased the interest rates. So our term deposits and uh, uh, saving back deposits have started showing good increase. Or um, uh, as far as uh, this credit growth is concerned, earlier we were sitting on a good liquidity position. In fact, our uh, liquidity position used to be more than 140%. So uh, liquidity has never been a problem for IDBI Bank. Now, um, uh, as I was telling that we are expecting growth of around 10 to 12%. So uh, this growth because of the existing liquidity as well as uh, expected increase in deposits, uh, we will be able to match uh, the scenario. And rather, um, uh, our earlier CD ratio used to be quite low, which was also affecting the profitability by uh, uh, you know, uh, showing much better growth in uh, advances. Even if there is not so much increase, if uh, the deposits increase by 10% and advances increase by 12%, my CD ratio will improve. So which will help us in improving the profitability also. So that's a positive sign. But in any case, uh, we are expecting more than 10% growth in deposits. I know IDB, IDBI bank deposit rates are, are, are much are probably the best in the industry, slightly other, other than other large public sector banks also uh, at 6.20%. Uh, do you see deposit rates going up further? 
one thing i will like to say that uh, we are not the highest because whenever we are making the changes in the interest rates we always compare with the peer banks so we are somewhere in the middle neither uh, lowest nor the highest ratio but of course we try to give the uh, you know the competitive offer the competitive rates to our depositors because i will like to acknowledge here that when we were in uh, trouble especially during our pca period and the, when the bank was showing losses it is the customers who always stayed with us they never you know there was never any reduction in deposits whatever reduction in deposit had taken place that was in bulk deposits so the, the we have to take care of the depositors so that way we are offering quite competitive rates but not the highest but yes our rates are quite good uh, uh, you know, to attract some deposits as far as the interest rate scenario is concerned yes like you know the uh, as you see that international uh, markets also fed uh, they are also expecting to increase rates then inflation is also around around more than 6% so likelihood that if uh, rbi increases the repo rate so we will have to also go by the uh, market and there may be slight increase in the interest rates keeping in the uh, view the overall market scenario coming back to the, the credit side uh, uh, most of the banks have seen improvement in in credit demand from corporate uh, credit demand I, i'm sure idbi bank has also seen that but, uh, but uh, i mean what kind of overall trade growth you said uh, you see at 10 to 12 percent uh, so but this growth will really mostly come, come from retail or corporate they both as i said like now uh, we are growing in all the areas msme retail large corporate mid corporate and uh, of late we have started seeing some growth in deposit uh, demand in and uh, advances also main reason of course one is of course the utilization is increasing because the capacity utilization is increasing in the industry covid situation has already gone and uh, the things are moving up and uh, now some investments have also started happening and then of course the because of the inter rising interest rate scenario some bond market also a little bit uh, slow earlier the bond market was quite uh, buoyant so now uh, some uh, funds are being diverted towards the credit of take also so all these factors have contributed uh, to this and uh, we are uh, looking uh, you know towards the increased demand in credit so that's why like although i am uh, targeting 10 to 12% it can be more than that also depending on the demand but of course one thing is clear we will be um, going for the quality assets but your retail as you said your retail is 63% of the total loan group uh, do you want to maintain that kind of ratio or you think some correction will take place and retail share may for slightly come down now that the corporate demand is coming back in a big way yeah in fact uh, slightly it may uh, be you know the corporate ratio may increase also but as per our board approved policy minimum that retail portion what we have stipulated that it will not go below 60% so now it is 63 but as of now i am targeting almost equal growth in all the verticals so that may this ratio may continue as it is but even if uh, the demand from corporate is more and we you know and good assets are available and we decide to grow more in cre uh, corporate credit so the ratio we will not go below 60% for retail that because much there's a board approved policy to have retail that is as of now we have our board approved policy is that that minimum uh, retail ratio should be 60% to fund this credit growth lot of banks are going to the market and raising capital uh, many of the banks in the last uh, you know uh, last few months have gone and raised 81 bonds uh, do we have any plans to raise capital uh, maybe via bonds or uh, equity no as of now if you see my uh, ct and tier 1 ratio is 17% and uh, mm -hmm. total capital adequacy is 19.57%. So the capital wise, we are quite comfortable. And um, bonds also, you see, in the, the, the deposits and bonds is because, and the internal funds are also being generated. This like Q1 profit is not added in this capital adequacy ratio. The capital wise, we are quite comfortable. So as of now, although we have taken board approval to raise uh, certain bonds, but immediately we do not have any plan to go for either uh, uh, this uh, QIP or some bond raising, but uh, times to come next year onwards or uh, whenever we need, we feel that there is uh, you know growth, so that time we can go for it. But presently, uh, I think we are quite uh, adequately capitalized. And sir, finally, the government uh, and the LIC is planning to sell stake in IDBI Bank. Uh, when do you think the process will start in terms of inviting bids from prospective investors? 
actually i will not be able to give you the exact timeline because that is the prerogative of deepam because the entire process is being held by the uh, being managed by deepam the government of india but of course like you know the, the, yes deepam has uh, the government of india has announced that they want to you know disinvest idbi uh, bank and the process is going on but exact timeline i will uh, my request to you will be that i think deepam will be the appropriate department to uh, give reply to this question but whatever happens we are ready for this and my like as i always say and i have been telling that my focus is to improve the profitability and improve the uh, uh, efficiency ratios in the bank so that when uh, number one the stakeholders get good compensation for this and whosoever new promoter is coming they should get a good bank to hold so that will be uh, my focus of course the entire other thing is to left to the owners deepam and lic when they want to come and when how much they will like to dispose of it was a pleasure talking to you mr sharma thank you very much for speaking to business standard thank you thank you very much I, my, my pleasure too. thank you very thank much thank you sir if you like this video share it and subscribe to business standard for more news views and insights log on to www.business-standard.com do also follow us on youtube twitter facebook instagram telegram and linkedin I am the blue of the limitless sky I am the inspiration that lets success soar high I will achieve nation's trusted bank sbi the banker to every indian